Hi guys, welcome to another video. I was just bored and checking around the internet and I recently watched Days and Confused, one of my favorite films there. And um, yeah, I was looking for like some new cast uh, reunion or a uh, new documentary on that film. And on YouTube, uh, I guess a week and a half, two weeks ago, there was a, a table read, you know, through Zoom calls and everything, but they pretty much got the whole cast back together. This thing uh, is like two hours, 45 minutes. I'll put the whole thing down in the, the, the description so you can check it out if you're interested, if you love the film. Yeah, it was just, uh, man, I wasn't uh, expecting this, but uh, they actually got like almost the whole cast to uh, reprise their roles. And of course, the, the script was, uh, you know, a lot bigger than the, the the film ended up being, you know. So you get a lot more dialogue, you know, in the original script than, uh, you know, what you actually heard on the screen. So that was pretty cool to hear different uh, dialogue and everything like that. But yeah, the, there's only a couple notables that were missing. Uh, I guess Ben Affleck, you know, who played Fred. I guess he may be the biggest notable. Um, yeah, but he he made a recording at the beginning of it saying why you couldn't do it and everything. But they actually got Ashton Kutcher to uh, fill in his spot. Uh, Mila Jovovich is not uh, in it. And Nikki Cat. It's pretty much the the, you know, the notables that are not in it. But the, everyone, I mean, everyone. I'm talking Matthew McConaughey, you know, played Witterson. Parker Posey, uh, Adam Goldberg, Jason London, Wiley Wiggins, Rory Cochran, Anthony Rapp, Joey Lauren Adams, Michelle Burke, Dina Martin, uh, Christine Harnos, Cole Hauser, Marissa Rabisi, Sasha Jensen, uh, Kristen Hinojosa, and Sean Andrews, and even like, um, you know, Mitch Kramer's friends in school, they come back to, uh, you know, uh, do the table read and... Uh, you know, they have smaller scenes, of course, but I mean, it's just, it's just cool to see them 28 years later, uh, you know, as if they're like, uh, you know, actually auditioning for the film and uh, seeing the chemistry and everything. I mean, there are some rough moments, uh, I'll let you know there, <laughs> but uh, primarily with the uh, Rory Cochran, who plays Slater, you know, he's the big stoner in the film there. He's pretty, he's pretty awful, man. Like he, he keeps losing his spot in the, in, you know, where the, where they're reading in the script and, uh, even when he's like reading his dialogue, it's it's very rough, you know. It's it's but it's it's entertaining, you know. But yeah, um, uh, just uh, yeah, I had a blast with this. It. Like a two hour, two hours forty five minutes, like I said. They even have Richard Linklater, the the director, you know, uh, come and talk. And uh, the table read is uh, ran by um, Jason Reitman, you know, uh, Ivan Reitman's son. And, um, yeah, so he, he's pretty much going through the script. Okay. This is the scene. And then the, the actors involved, their zoom uh, image will pop up on the screen, you know, and, uh, they'll fill out the whole scene with their dialogue. So yeah, at the beginning, you know, it's like they're feeling it out. Some people's uh, mics are cutting out a bit, but uh, you know, especially when, um, you know, cause of course Matthew McConaughey comes a bit later in uh, on the read. So you kind of like when, when it's happening for like first 20 minutes, you're like, Oh, this is fun. And then, Oh, you're like, Oh yeah. Frigga. Of course, uh, McConaughey's, and they actually got him to come back, you know, and <laughs> he's got the same voice, the same, he, he's perfect uh, for the table read, man. Jason London was good, too. I I found, like, when he started getting scenes with Matthew McConaughey, you could tell he was, like, uh, he was laughing a lot, and uh, he was, like, uh, his read, uh, his, you know, his table read started going even better, you know? Parker, po Parker Posey was so hilarious, man. She, she's pretty much exactly like it was in the movie, you know? She's like a bitch, but she's like, you know, proud to be one, you know? Yeah, she got into a role uh, like a, for the air raid scene and everything, you know, when the, they're, they're humiliating the, the, the students and they're pouring ketchup and mustard on them and everything. She actually put like a, a bag, you know, in front of the her camera and started pouring uh, ketchup and stuff like that. You know, even Evan Goldberg, you know, he's standing up at some scenes. Evan Goldberg was fantastic too. Uh, Anthony Rapp, you know, he's like a... He's always seems professional, the Anthony Rapp guy. So his their reads went excellent. Uh, Wiley Wiggins as Mitch Kramer. You know, he didn't do much after uh, this film, but uh, his table read went very well. But that's Sl Slater. I mean, it's fun for what it is, but yeah, I don't know if he had a hard night of partying just the night before because he's, he's like all out of sorts. I'm telling you, you're going to laugh. And of course, like there's some, uh, like Richard Linklater fills in for some voices for um, uh, for some people, like, like the guy in the store when Mitch Kramer goes and buys beer for the guys. They'll have Richard Linklater do the that role as the the you know the the guy at the cash or whatnot talking with Mitch Kramer and uh, they have some other uh, people um, not too too familiar with uh, some younger actors I guess filling in for like you know the old teachers and just some real minor roles I guess they just couldn't get those people back but I mean 
the, the amount of Zoom calls that uh, that are, are actual cast members from this film is like 20 plus, you know, it's just, uh, it's incredible to see them all, uh, you know, 28 years later. Some uh, look almost exactly the same. Some, you know, you can tell they're getting older. <laughs> Uh, Sasha Jensen was great too, man. I I've always loved him. I grew up with the, um, you know, so many of his films because of, uh, you know, my horror, my love for horror films like Halloween Four. I thought he was great in Ghoulies Part Two. He he got a smaller role in that one. Uh, even Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you remember that uh, Luke Perry one there. Uh, so yeah, Sasha Jensen was perfect. He he's looking a little older though, you know. So is Jason London. Um, yeah, the, a lot of the girls still look, uh, you know. Uh, good for their age yeah i was uh very surprised jo uh, of course joey um lauren lauren adams you know a lot of these people actually you know this is like their first film just starting out and everything but they they made a lot of films after you know she played in like uh, big daddy and stuff like that but yeah she's the um, she plays like randall pink floyd's girlfriend kind of thing before he starts having a thing with uh, mitch kramer's sister jody kramer um played by michelle burke she was good in the table reads uh, at the beginning her mic was cutting out a bit there but uh, nothing too bad yeah uh, cole hauser he's so good benny you know uh, he's one of the guys uh hitting the kids with the paddles there uh, he, he was great swearing all kinds uh, <laughs> yeah there's a lot more dialogue to his character that actually made it to the film and i think i remember in like a documentary richard linklater said that like when they actually cut the f the first cut together it was like two hours, 20, 20 minutes, something like that. So, yeah, there's lots of, uh, you know, footage and dialogue that got cut, you know. Uh, but we get it all in uh, in this uh, table read, which is fantastic. Yeah, Sean Andrews, uh, Kevin Pickford, you know, the boyfriend of, um, of uh, Mila Jovovich is there. Uh, everyone, everyone is crazy. Marissa Ribisi, you know, uh, Randall, I mean, um, uh, of course, uh, Witterson, uh, McConaughey's character has a thing for the intellectual redhead. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the cast is, uh, really fun. They, they just, you know, they, they, they kind of like, uh, just had fun with it. You know, I mean, it wasn't too serious. I'm sure like if they had a table read audition for the film back in 92, you know, I'm sure they, a lot of these guys would have been really more well prepared, but it was just more like a very relaxed setting. But some of these guys are still professional actors today. So they took it seriously. Uh, like Adam Goldberg, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Parker Posey was so funny. I mean, yeah, it, it was just a, if you love this film and, and, you know, you're just looking for like some new uh, information on, on the cast or whatnot, or some new info, information on films you love, they're starting to do a lot of these table reads uh, by Zoom calls now. So it's kind of fun, like, you know, uh, them picking up 28, late, 28 years later and, you know, going over the whole script as if it was uh, day one. Yeah, I had, uh, had a blast uh, going back and uh, just watching this. I wasn't uh, expecting to find this, you know. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll leave um, the two-hour, 45-minute uh, friggin' version down below. Go check that out if you're a huge fan. Yeah, but the <laughs> Slater Son, man. Oh, my God. You're going to see, man. If you haven't seen this yet, Slater Son. It looks like he continued on that path of that character. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... Um, uh, there's not uh, too much uh, else to say. I just uh, wanted to give you guys a heads up on this thing because it just uh, popped up two weeks ago and uh, I only found it today. So if you're a huge fan of the film and uh, looking for some uh, something to watch, uh, go check this out. You have fun. I, I was laughing. I was cracking up throughout the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. You're going to get it, bitch. Damn enchiladas! Good day.